Hello everyone, this is Wyatt Kona, and welcome to a brand new game mode here in World of Tanks. It is called Domination. And Domination is, well, capture the flag. And unlike most uh, game modes in Cap uh, on World of Tanks where you have one life, this one, you have unlimited respawns. And you have three tanks to choose from the Object 140D, the T110E5D, and the AMX 50BD. Which two heavy tanks and a two heavy tanks and a medium. Now, basic, as you see here on the map, there are four icons on the two icons on the left, two icons on the right, two icons on the top, and two icons on the bottom, and one in the middle. The middle one is the flag. The flag is worth anywhere from 25, from 15 to 25 to 50 points, and you have to score from anywhere from 100 to 150 to about 200 points per game. Now, it, this is played as whoever scores first win. Or sorry, whoever has the most points at the end of the game wins, and whoever has oh pushes the flag, ram them, ram them. <laughs> yeah, where do you think you're going, sunshine? Oh, oh, he hit my Amarok. So, I have uh, loaded here uh, a large repair kit, a large repair, a large repair kit, a large first aid kit, and a fire extinguisher. And what I like about this game mode is that, well, it requires a lot of team effort. And I get shot from behind. But as you see there, those two times I got shot from behind, I didn't take any damage. When you shoot allies, you don't take damage, which I think is a good feature considering you're going to be... Uh, in a very, very small area trying to defend the flag, take the flag, etc. And this map, I believe, is called Ghost Town. And, oh, take a shot in the move. And the two icons on the right on the left, the very far right and left, oh, as you see right there, looks like a hammer and a wrench. That is the new, a new feature called the repair, oh, ow, jerk, I'm trying to explain things here. The repair, um, repair area, which is when you just sit in there, it repairs any any modules you may have damaged, restores all of, full of your hit points, and gives all your ammo and consumables back that you may have used, as you see there. So that's a pretty neat feature. I think Wargaming has done well. Oh, I'm going to help this ally out here against this. Is it AMX 50B? Looks like it. Alright, let's just chase him down. As you see, we have the flag right now. In order to get points for having the flag, oh, stop and kill him, uh, you have to deliver it to the green circles. And the enemy has to deliver it to the red circles. And I believe the uh, flag in this one costs 35 points. And there are 100, I think it is, points uh, max. So basically, we have to about capture it two to three times, or two times, to get a heck of a lot of kills. I see here, and just putting shot after shot into this Amex 50B so he doesn't kill my ally who has the flag. Hopefully, we can take him out before he kills him. Ow. Stand still, Amex 50B, and let me kill you. Don't kill my ally. This game, well, I personally think requires a lot of team effort, so I personally think it's the best thing to do. Oop, don't hit my ally. The best thing to do is to get in a platoon with your friends and, well, coordinate a lot because just. You can all be in like one specific tank, like if you're all in the auto-loading heavy tank, the Amex 50B, you can all coordinate when you're reloading your auto-loader, etc. As you see there, we capture the flag, so now we get a whole metric button of points. <laughs> We're being chased by an enemy, Object 140 there. Alright, time to run away, capture, get the new flag, and hopefully put it into there for a win. Nope, oh, that was a bounce. As you see there, the enemy is about to take the uh, next fl the flag. And any second now, boom, they have it. So uh, now they have to deliver to any one of the red circles near our spawn. The hard part, about, hard part about delivering the flag is that the quote unquote, I guess it says headquarters when you cap when you get it to deliver to headquarters. The thing is about it, you have to deliver it to near the enemy spawn. So the more enemy tanks you kill, in about 10 seconds, they're going to respawn in a new vehicle, uh, completely loaded, and ready to try and defend the flag. But I was too late to get there to help defend, so I decided to go for flag respawn right there. And let's run like all hell to the 
headquarters. Deliver flag to the headquarters. And now you see on my map and on my screen these green arrows flashing. You have to deliver right there. Take some pot shots at that enemy object 140. And let's deliver the flag and get more points. Woo! More points! Yay! Alright, flag delivered. And, alright, we are. Oh! Enemy AMX 50B. Alright, there's a repair point nearby. I'm just gonna use that. So, as you see here, we're barely up, but the enemy has the flag. And they're. Right now, they have the flag. So, we have to kill him in order for him to drop the flag. And we have to carry out the flag. Or kill until we get to 100 points. Or just wait out the game until we've gotten. Until the game ends. I think it's 10 minutes or something like that. I think it's 10 minutes on the timer. Or it could be 15. I just don't know. I don't usually pay attention to clock. Alright. My per. And now most people might think that you have to have the tier 10 counterparts to play this. No, you do not. It is a free event for all players of all. Tears, ages, um, oop, nice shot through the wall there. And as you see there, that T125 just healed up. He w got into the repair point. And I personally, uh, I personally think Wargaming did a good job here. Oh, and I am so dead. As you see here, the enemy uh, ha uh, has the flag, and they're very, very close to capturing it. He's running down to the circle. But we lost this game. They are about to capture it and we're going to lose. But I personally think that, well, it's better to throw your tank away in the beginning to stop the flag because you have unlimited respawns. You uh, you take 10 seconds to respawn and any of these vehicles and then 30 seconds at, and 30 seconds for the vehicle that you're just in to be used again. You see here, here's my result screen. I did quite a bit of damage, as you'll see when I turn up this team score, but you do not get a lot of XP credits because, well, they're, they're expecting you to do a lot of damage because there are a lot of unlimited respawn. Unfortunately, that's all for today. As you see, not a lot of credits XP, even though I did over 7,000 damage. I hope you guys enjoyed, and if you did, leave a like down below. Comment if I should do anything else, and as always, I'll see you next time. Take care. Goodbye.